All right, everyone, buckle up. This is Julie. We are gonna go on the in the queue and on the pre-show for Dinosaur. Let's go. Spring break, so you can see lots of crowds coming in. It opened at eight officially. Early entry was at 7.30, so it is about an hour and 15 minutes after official opening. Line is long, so there will be lots of chances for me to point out some of the fun features we have on this ride. Of course, we have our dinosaur here in the front. This is the iguanodon that you actually chase on the ride, which is super fun. So, great shot right here, especially if you want a family photo in front of dinosaur. Really fun. All right, let's go. And actually, it's 10 minutes. It just changed from 40 to 10. So, let's go check this out inside. I'll show you the things that I see. Obviously, this is a dark ride. It is actually very dark. It is a little jerky. It's not go upside down. It is not a roller coaster. It's more like you're riding in a Jeep. So there are some warnings right here. I don't know that it's it's a little high speed. It's a little jerky, but um, you'll also see the height requirement of 40 inches there as well. So we have lightning lane at this one. Stand by entrance is 10 minutes right now and you can see the height of Justin right there. I love how Disney themes their trash cans as well. So there's our trash can. Right in here there's lots of artifacts which is super fun. So if the line is long it is air conditioned in here but there's lots of things for kids to look at which is really great. Native habitat. We like this little guy right there on the tree. We even have fossils in the wall, which is pretty cool. This is a unnatural fossil right there. <laughs> but again, lots of things to see inside of here. You're greeted by this guy. You'll see him again in the ride, which is really fun. Mud walls. I like the turtle. The turtle's super fun. Look at the T-Rex. And the walls. Everything in here is themed so well. So pretty cool. Our friend, down to his toes. to the next show. We have the Dino Institute here with Dr. Seeker. You might see some celeb sightings in the video, which is really fun. While we're waiting for a minute, let's go ahead and take a look at this mural. We have the predators and the prey. I like this ride, it's really fun. It's definitely nostalgic. Uh, my son doesn't hate this ride, he's 10. <laughs> 
kids, if you have kids that uh, are a little fearful, especially of the dark, this is a very dark ride, but it's lots of fun too. There's lots of sayings that are, if you're a Disney fan, are very distinct to this ride and they're really fun. We're not doing a full ride through this time, we're just doing the queue and the pre-show. So I will be showing you the pre-show in just a minute. And then we will be ready. Here we go. Subscribe to WDW Magazine and escape to Walt Disney World every single month. This large format glossy magazine is filled with content, not ads. Subscribe now and don't miss another month of magic. Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old wing. That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute... Let's everybody moving all the way in the front, please. Everybody moving all the way in the front to the theater, please. Thank you. Right together, please, try to right together. That's proprietary, but the result is a breathtaking journey through a prehistoric world where you will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Access denied. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? <laughs> hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission, so don't tell anyone, okay? 